everyone, Kaylee here, and today I am reviewing the Dyson Air Wrap. Yep, I am the last person on YouTube to make a video, but it's here. Let's talk about it. So I bought this like first thing. As soon as it went live on Sephora, I was like out to cart, purchase, spent my dollars on it because I was like, this looks like heaven. I should sing like never in my videos, right? And I was so excited. I was like, girl, I am gonna do the best, the most in depth, the working as video of the all. And so I was like, I'm gonna do seven days. I'm gonna test out each different tool. I'm gonna compare it to other tools. I like went full investigative journalist on this. I got very, very excited. And uh, <laughs> things did not go as I planned. So I would like to take you on the journey that I took trying out the Dyson Air app. Let's get into it. Boring. Day one, I will admit, a little boring. All I wanted to do was test out my normal routine to see how long it took so that I could compare it to everything else. Um, I didn't put any products in my hair or anything to help out my hair in any way because I felt like I just wanted to see like raw and untouched what it was like. And then I was finally ready for day two and some unboxing. This looks like something that a woman who has her life together would own. I do not qualify. <laughs> and this is magnetic and we open it up. And then we have the goods. Dun dun dun. This is really light it, and it feels like plastic. I think I was expecting metal. It is not. And then we have the base. <sighs> nice long cord, necessary. All right, this is not heavy at all, although it is fairly long. I would say this is about 12 inches. It's almost like three quarters the length of a normal curling iron. So now I'm just gonna wet my hair down and get started with the pre-styling tool. Okay, my hair was already pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. I am noticing already that it has the same kind of high-pitched whirring that the original dryer did, which is not my favorite, but it's not an actual like real complaint, it's just a personal preference. Now let's get to the good stuff. Now this attachment is the big draw of the air wrap because it actually wraps your hair around this curling iron type base using six different little fans that all create a circle of wind around the curling iron. Dyson called this the Kawanda effect and it was what was developed for this specific tool. Okay, I think I just wanna test this on a piece of hair to get started. Oh my god. Well that has a, that's not hard. I'm gonna try to move the hair down. So. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay, very bouncy. Very bouncy, much bouncier than the curls I did with my curling iron. And I think really pretty, the ends are so curled. I don't like that it's not curled up here, but it is very curled down here. So that's something that I would definitely want to work on. But uh, I am not upset. <laughs> and now we turn it off and we pull it out. Ha <laughs> ha, that is a ringlet. I mean, okay, I'm still running into this look that I'm not loving where it's really loose up here and really tight down here but the bounce and the volume is really really nice i think what i want to do now is clip my hair so i can do the bottom half and then the top half and let's just see how that goes overall my first impression of the tool was that it was very easy for the ends to wrap around it and then to like wind it up to my head and went pretty smoothly although i didn't immediately remember that i needed to switch out the curling iron heads I forgot I would need to switch this out. Or you know what? I'm just gonna hold it upside down. All right, yeah, if you hold it upside down, you don't have to switch out the heads, though you do have to hold your arm at an awkward angle. Okay, now that this side's done, let's see how it looks. You can really see now that whole like straight and then curled situation. I feel like part of it is that this part of the hair is going on the iron first, so it's probably taking up most of the iron and then this hair isn't really getting on there to curl. So I'm wondering if maybe I took smaller sections if I could get tighter curls up at the top. Ugh, I don't know, I don't know. So while the easy wind up is really nice, you do kind of lose precision and an even curl, which isn't great. 
I'm gonna keep going with even smaller sections to see if that would help. I'm getting a little bored at this point. I mean, I know I'm almost done, but like I'm really ready to be done. And then 45 minutes later at about 45 seconds per curl, I was finally able to like take a step back and look at the results. And that's when it started going downhill. Okay, I think that side is done. And I think maybe did I miss pieces on this side or is it already straight? Cause that's concerning. Look at that. Where did it go? I don't understand. I'm, I'm very confused and very sad. I spent time on that. Where is my curl? That was the smallest curler too. Damn it! where the heck did my curls go? No, Dyson, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. It was a less than successful first try, wasn't it? <sighs> so you know, ease of concept was definitely there. You put the ends on, you wind it up, you hold it there, you use the cool shot button and take it off. What wasn't there were the results and it took such a long time. So I was kind of starting to get discouraged, but I thought, you know what? I'll come back, I'll be even more detailed, I'll be even more careful, and we'll see how it goes. So I moved on to the next day. Hello, welcome to day three. My last attempt with drying and curling my hair with the Dyson Airwrap did not go well whatsoever. So today I'm starting from actually freshly showered and we're gonna try the pre-styling tool and the curling tool again, and hopefully it's gonna go better. I'm really hoping. Gonna pop in my leave-in conditioner. And then this time I'm also adding in a product that adds holds. This is the Bumble and Bumble Great Body Blow Dry Cream. And now I'm gonna go back in with the pre-styling tool. Okay, the power on this little head is very, very impressive. That dried my hair very quickly. I have to stop because it still needs to be wet to use the air wrap. Let's hope it works this time. And this time I am going to use the smallest sections that I can and I'm not gonna touch them until they're cool. You know, it seems like there's a bit of a wind tunnel created so all these little hairs are kind of like shot off from the curl and it's not a giant problem for me, but if I had curly hair, that would be a big problem. So that's worrisome. Okay, all that done, let's see how this looks. Are you kidding me? I didn't even touch them. How are they already fallen? I'm so mad right now. I just did this. <laughs> what a waste of time. Right? Like, it has taken me 17 minutes so far. I could have dried my hair and done my secret sauce waves and like, changed my lip color by now. I'm very unimpressed. If this is only gonna give me a barely there wave, then I'm not gonna waste the time doing the whole like wind up thing. Like it's a cute magic trick, but it's not actually that much easier. So I'm just gonna wrap on this side. Um, just see what the results are from that because we've already seen these results and I'm not impressed by them. And the thing is, I'm not a YouTuber that enjoys doing negative reviews. That's not, really me. I'm typically a, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all kind of girl, but also I call BS on the whole, like this doesn't get very hot thing. Like, okay, compared to a 300 degree curling iron, sure. But like right next to my ear, it gets really uncomfortably hot. Just saying. Okay. That's pretty, let's enjoy it for the next minute of its lifetime. <laughs> All right, let's just take like the infinitesimally small pieces and leave them on just a ridiculously long time and see if that changes anything. Baby hair maker, not cute. Guys, I don't know, this is a lot of work and it's not giving me, you know, any kind of better results than I would get with the curling iron. I don't even feel like it's less damaging because it's blowing the hair around so much and it's causing tangles and all of that and it is still really getting hot. I'm just like, between all of those, you are still causing stress to the cuticle layer just in a slightly different way. I don't think that it's necessarily creating something better. Look at this, what do you think? Am I being a diva? No. I'm not being a diva? Like, what even? That was... I've been in here for 30 minutes. I know. You've only done that much hair. I know. What the heck is this? Right? Right? I look like I've, I'm a chia pet. And I was taking sections like this big. like Your hair is never frizzy like that. That's true. It looks okay. so dry. Tea. Girl. Yeah, okay, good. I just, I felt like I was being a little bit of a drama queen for a second there. No, oh, really not. What a waste of money. Okay, I took a minute to do some deep breathing exercises because I was, <laughs> guys, like, 
I put in so much time and effort and this is what my hair ended up looking like. And not to tune my own horn, but I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to hair. And I kind of know what I'm doing. And I feel like it shouldn't be this hard. It's not that there isn't any kind of shape to my hair on this side, but it looks dry. It's not, you know, as shiny as I was led to believe it would be. And these are frizzy and I just... Okay, I am not happy, but I'm gonna soldier on and I'm just gonna keep doing the most that I can and see how this goes. I would just like to interject that I was putting these sections on until they felt 1000% dry. And then I switched it onto the cool button and left it on cool until my hair felt cool. It easily took about a minute per section. <sighs> okay, well, it looks like a curl. I mean, all of this is cool, so I should be able to run my fingers through it. Oh my God, tangles, how? We're looking a little better. I don't, I keep feeling like, oh, it's good. And then like, oh, it's straight. And like, I just, <laughs> I have a lot of feelings. I just need a break. I need a break. I'll be back. But I didn't come back. That was all I filmed that day. And honestly, I was just so discouraged. I'd spent 40 minutes on my hair. And before I even like finished half of my hair, the results had already fallen. And I just didn't feel like I had anything more to give that day and I didn't have anything more to give to try to get better results. I had done everything that I knew to do and I was so discouraged and that was it for that day. But I came back the next day ready to try a different attachment. <laughs> All right, day four, here we go again. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the brush attachment. The brush head seems pretty standard. It is pretty short, like it's only about four inches wide. So I can only take four inch wide sections at a time, which means, you know, I'm just gonna have to go a little bit slower. That's not all that bad, but I do feel like it would be easier to use, especially for thicker hair if it was a little longer. But that being said, let's put some products in. We're gonna give the Dyson a huge leg up today because I'm using the Kerastas La, Incre oh, La Incroyable Blowjack. I think that's what it's called. It's supposed to be a heat protectant that adds hold and shine. To the pre-styler. I have to say the pre-styling tool is very similar to the original Dyson dryer. You don't need both. So if you're considering like, do I need to buy this and the hair dryer? Nah. Uh, I feel like this does just as good of a job. And I kind of like that the handle's this long because then you don't have to reach your hand as far around to get to the back of your head. So for the blowout, I'm gonna blow everything on top of my head back away from my face. Everything on the sides is gonna go out to the side for extra volume. We're gonna end up with probably like a 1990s slash 70s starlet blowout and I'm here for it. And I'm gonna clip up each section as I go because that's what I would do with a round brush. So for the sake of keeping it consistent, I'm just gonna do that. Please, please, please be good. out and roll it up. The brush itself is a little harder to work with through all of the hair because it is a little smaller and just the way the bristles hold the hair. That's been a thing so far, but other than that, we're doing okay. You know what I'm realizing? I don't have to clip these up to cool because I'm cooling them while they're on the dryer. <laughs> a smart hairstylist. This is about as good as the curl that I get from the curling iron attachment. A Little bit of tea there. I do wanna point out though, all the little hairs that are blowing away from the dryer because that's just the way it's drying your hair is to like dry it out. So I feel like if your hair had a natural curl or wave to it, the hairs that are drying out would just dry with at least a little bit of that natural curl or wave, which would then create you know, poofiness and frizz and contrast any smooth texture you're able to create with the brush, which would overall not look very good. Well, 30 minutes later, we're almost done. Wonderful. Takes me five minutes to blow dry my hair when I'm just doing it however I want. You know, I think that was the first time that I really handled the hair in the middle of this process and my hair is pretty hot. Like, hotter than I'd want it to be while it's in the blow drying process. And that is on the low heat settings though. It's not that whole like healthier than a curling iron stitch. 
All right, it's all in. I'm gonna go take a chill while I give these last couple sections a chance to finish setting and cooling down, and then let's see how it went. That was like 45 minutes, I'm assuming. I'll put the correct title somewhere here. The moment of truth. Oh, hey girl. That's pretty. Oh man, if this isn't a 1980s wing, I don't know what is. Okay. Okay, well, it's like, it's, it's smooth, but it's not shiny. Like, it's got shape, it's got bounce. Like, you can't deny the shape of the bounce, but it's not all that, like, special technology shiny. Listen, if I'm paying $500 for it, I want it to do everything. And it did not do everything. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for my guest appearance on Friends in 1995. Okay, I'll be fair. I would not get this much volume from a blow dryer and a curling iron. That is for darn sure. I like the results quite a bit. I like the volume. I like the fluff. I love being able to have like a big blowout without actually having to round brush my hair. Love that. I don't think that the results that I got were special to this tool. I think that if I just bought a similar one at the drugstore, I could do the same thing. And I'm saying that because I'm seeing frizz. I'm seeing hairiness there and with my hair type that's not good my hair type tends toward being shiny more than it tends toward being frizzy so for this to leave me with somewhat frizzy results it doesn't bode well for it you know if i spend a whole lot of money on like new technology and like special effects and all that kind of stuff then i expect that it's gonna leave my hair shiny and i didn't quite get that okay i know that judgment seems harsh but look at this clip from an hour later like the curl and bounce in my hair had already fallen and it looks so dry and so thirsty and that was the end of day four. I felt like at this point I had seen everything that I needed to see and I had tried everything that I needed to try. So moving on to day five, which is today, I decided just to go through my normal routine so I could show you guys my point of reference during this whole process. So I rough dried my hair, didn't do anything to help it, and it was already shinier than it was with the round brush attachment on the Dyson. Then I used a curling iron that was the same size as the curling attachment that I used on the Dyson. And I decided to go in the same size sections that I was using for the Dyson. So I was using very small sections. I did three like partitions of hair, which is more than the two I normally do. And I did a technique that I'm a little bit slower at just to like slow myself down as much as possible and get it as close as possible to what I was doing with the Dyson. Even so, even with all of that, that entire routine took me 15 minutes. And just to drive the point home even more, let's look at what it was like at the 15 minute mark on day two, and day three, and day four. And then I waited an hour to see how the curls would fall, and this is how they look now. Compare that to less than 20 minutes between when I did the curls and when they fell on the curling attachment. So not only do I still have curls, which I didn't with the Dyson, they are significantly shinier and silkier and healthier looking, which again is what my hair tends toward, but the fact that I couldn't get that with the Dyson is not a good sign. And I wanted to do that just to give you guys a really clear comparison, just so you could really see the difference between the two routines and why I'm so bothered by the Dyson, why I'm so bothered at the time that it took and the results that I got. And I think at this point, I would like to contrast the reality of what I experienced to the expectations that I had going in. I thought that this technologically was gonna be beyond anything that I'd ever experienced before. And I would give it like a yes and a no on that one. Like yes, there were some things that were very, very cool. But for me, it fell short in the length of the attachments. It really did not take into account ease of use for people with long or thick hair. They're very, very short, and you just don't have the room that you need to style as effectively as you could. And second, I thought that I really just could have used like six months to a year more in R&D to iron out the, the issues that were giving me crazy baby hairs when I don't have crazy baby hairs. and. You know, the fact that I wasn't really getting shine out of these results when my hair is naturally shiny, I, I think that those could have been fixed with more engineering. I wish that instead of charging us 500 bucks for something that was almost there, they had just gotten all the way there. And like one final irk that I've had this whole time is why do you have to buy all of the attachments at once? Why is it a $500 price tag for 
so many attachments when it could be by the base and by the attachments you want? Like, why did they not pull a T3 and do it that way? So there are a lot of things that I really appreciate about this product. I appreciate the amount of research and development that went into this. And I appreciate Dyson for being willing to just put in the time and money to do that amount of research and development because nobody else is. I fully want Dyson to keep going. I will still try the next thing. This is not like a canceled moment whatsoever. Um, I just thought it wasn't for me. It wasn't for my hair type. I'm not gonna use it again. Um, but good on you for doing your thing. Good on you for putting in effort where nobody else is. I think y'all rock. Having said all that, I think it's important to remind you guys that this is my experience and I only have my experience to go off of. I went on Sephora today just to double check some facts and there are a ton of positive reviews. People with really thick hair that love it, people with curly hair that love it, that are getting results they've never gotten before. And I, I was scrolling through that with my mouth just hanging open because I was like, this is so different than what I've experienced. This is so different than what you guys just watched me go through. So I don't know if it's my hair type, maybe it is. But at the end of the day, like I said, I can only give you my experience and I can show you guys what happened when I used it and I did not like it. Oh, you guys got to see a whole lot of Rage Kaylee this time. It's been a while since she came out on the channel. So, you know, hope you enjoyed that at least. Okay, but I think that's it for today. This video is plenty long, I'm sure. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Leave a comment and tell me if you did. I wanna see how many of you guys actually like made it all the way to this point. Um, but that is it for today. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. We have some holiday videos coming up and I'm so excited. So I will see you again very soon for those. Don't forget to subscribe so that you are notified when I do. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. And we've got a box inside of another box. And I'll mail that box to myself, but when it arrives, oh, I'll smash it with a hammer! I love Emperor's new crew, what can I say? I finally realized what this makes me think of. It's like the really long mics from old game shows. That's been The Price is Right. I'm Bob Barker. Please remember to spay and neuter your pets. Stop. A GFI can save... I don't know what that is. Something that could save my life, apparently. Bye.